All right, welcome to Out and About. Um, we're barely surviving down here in New York. It's smoky, it's hazy, it's disgusting. I'm masked up like it's goddamn 2020 right now, Joe. The jet streams, that's how they get you. The jet streams? That's how the wind is getting here from it, from Canada. Do you like a mask? No. Mm, interesting. I already have emphysema, so. I don't think you have emphysema, Joe. <laughs> You know, there's a huge conspiracy <laughs> on Twitter about this. Like, about that there's what? not actually wildfires. Oh, yeah, because it's like if you want to seeing the Chinese drones. Well, in. if you search Canadian wildfire on Twitter, it's just all conspiracy videos. About. Oh, fun. About Chinese. Well, have you seen a video of the wildfires? No. <gasps> Marty started. Marty start. There are none. There's no video. I haven't, I haven't seen one. I thought that's just because video technology hasn't made its way to Canada yet. <laughs> I didn't know that's what it was. Are you okay? You're no. worried about the party. You're worried about the party. I'm stressed. We about, about the party. No, I'm stressed about the schedule for today. Well, the, so the schedule today is, today is today Thursday. I should have been getting a haircut on my house this morning to, and not sitting here interviewing people on the biggest day of our lives. <laughs> there, should never the, been an, there should never have been an interview today. It's the biggest day of our lives. Um, the party's tonight. Joey's stressed. I'm not. I couldn't get a haircut. You can get a fucking haircut. And my neighborhood. I need to go to my neighborhood to get my so haircut. So go back uptown and get a haircut. We'll go film for a couple hours at the bar and then we'll go get a haircut. I need a haircut too. Let mm. me see your hair. Did you sleep in makeup last night? No, I put makeup on because I had a big, it was a big Zoom meeting this morning. Let me see your hair. Head down. Okay. <laughs> you look good. I think you look fine. I think we're going to be RTR. I think there's going to be a lot of people at this party. It's going to be great. Other than the haircut, what is stressing you out about this? Because I feel great. So we're filming a reality show. So the joke of the entire episode of the reality show is we're putting together a party on a shoestring budget. And I think that I everyone think that's what I'm having trouble that. with me putting my name on a part uh, uh, on a loosely. Yeah, but I don't think party. this is this is everyone understands this is not like a actual elaborate party. Know, we're putting on a happy mental, hour. I, you know, you know how I am. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I'm having trouble with. It's having it's trouble separating. with separating got it. Got it. Yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. used to doing, which is, you know, elaborate parties and giving something lackluster that, that would not be up to standard in a normal situation. Well, I think we can make the best of what we have. And I think people are really going to have fun. I mean, look at who's coming to the party. We don't know who's coming to the party. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's my point. Honestly, if there's drinks, people are going to have fun. It's two hours at the party. I think we make the best of it. I think the only attitude is a keep attitude. Are you worried about a lack of hors d'oeuvres? No. You're worried about a lack of. I'm worried about people sitting in my section. I, can I have a designated circle couch? <laughs> yeah, so, me, so to now my, we're to getting myself, to the point of it. Yeah, of to, course. To myself and who I who I see fit sitting with me. Will I be in there? No, you can have your own section. Just we have three, two two, separate there's, VIPs. There's, one for Joey. No, one three, for me. There's three banquets. I think I want a banquet for me and my friends. A banquet. What's a banquet? Like a booth? The booth. There's three booths. And who? Which friends are you? Do you have coming? I don't. Doesn't matter. I just want my own section. Of course, you can have your own section. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. So now are we good? Now we're good on the party? No, I need to go to get, if I can get my hair cut. Okay. In my hometown. In your hometown of I the Upper East Side. My, I can see my costume. Steam your costume. I've oh, got the costume. And I have my. There's a steamer at the bar. No, there's not. Yes, there is. Do you have a steamer with you? How do you know there's a steamer at the bar? He told me. Why would you ask for a steamer? I made that up. He didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make it better. We Wait. Have a here. We have a steamer. Is your costume here? Yeah. You're wearing a something flowy, something loose, maybe a slouch pant. I have a bunch of outfits. Oh, you're going to be doing an outfit change throughout the evening? Yeah. I'm going to be doing one outfit. <laughs> uh, one outfit is, you're, my one outfit I'm coming out in, and the other outfit is going to be, it's actually some new technology fabric that it makes me invisible because I'm fucking leaving as soon as <laughs> seven o'clock hits. So what's the actual, what's your actual outfit change? I don't know yet. I have to, I have to look. I'm not doing that for change, but I'm doing my, I haven't decided my outfit. I have to see how I'm feeling. See, I have to see the temperature. What's the temperature in there? I have to see it's what the decorations look like. I have to see like what, the room's giving, if it's giving fish, if it's giving butch, dyke, if it's giving, you know, what Cunt. it's giving. Could be giving anything. I think we're going to have fun. Uh, right now, as you're listening to this podcast, Joey and I are deathly hung over in bed, which proves that we had fun. I'm willing to bet my life on it that we had fun. And I want to thank Mamitas. I could be in a hospital a bed on a, on a generator from all these, this, this uh, fog and smog. Oh my God, it's brutal. It's I'm not as bad today. What do you mean? It's not bad today. Yesterday was bad. Yesterday, the AQI, the air quality index, anything over 150 is considered very bad. It New, was 450. It was 484. Yeah. New Delhi is usually at 125. Shanghai is at 150. The chart only goes to 500. Mm -hmm. And so we are- What was it like in Canada? That. Oh God, I don't know. Maybe the wind just took it and swooped it right down. If yeah. the fires even exist. Like 130 yesterday, it was crazy. Yeah. I know. Like, it was like orange. Yeah. Yeah. Girl, look how fucking orange you look. <laughs> well, I'm glad that it went away because now 
people are going to maybe even show up to the party. Last time I had a, I threw a party, it was with the Barstool Breakfast people, and it was on the St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, 2020. We were like, how come no one's here? It was the very start of fucking <laughs> coronavirus. It was, it was, that was this three days after, yeah. Yeah, remember? Shut down for two weeks. Where did we end up? <laughs> Windex and packages. Years. People are still wearing masks. Not because of this, but like seriously on sets. That's where I got out of doing professional makeup because I was I couldn't do it anymore. Wearing still, a mask. So today, any 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 professional film set, the, the masks are required. But why? That's insane. Because they're cucks. I mean, that's like I went to a comedy show and they had to have you wear masks, and I was like, I can only do this for 10 minutes. It's just not worth it. Yeah. I don't believe in science. <laughs> me either. I do believe that that um that matcha is helping me. With what? Just everything. Matcha cures all. It's an antioxidant. I love that for you. Thank you. All right, guys, we got to talk to you about uh, Mamitas, or do we even have to talk to you about it? Because we've been talking to you about it nonstop. Live Mucho this summer with our favorite tequila seltzer, Mamitas. It's time for Mucho Sun, Mucho Music, and Mucho Tequila. I'm wearing the hat right now. Mamitas comes in seven delicious flavors, mango, pineapple, lime, and the new cocktail pack, uh, Paloma, spicy margarita, classic margarita, and tequila sunrise. They are 35, I'm sorry, they're only... 95 calories, Ooh. gluten-free, Ooh. Uh, under two grams of sugar for each one. And it's the best way to get your party started. I kind of put them on the cooler, get them ice cold, yes. crack one open. It's the best thing to do this summer on the beach. Gets the party started. You feel light and lively. You're not drinking too many calories. You're not, even you feel weighed down. You're not you rotting feel, your teeth with fucking sugar. Yeah, all yeah. this sugar. So you're going to feel good. You're going to get get out there and be social. And the flavors are delicious. I'm making cocktails with them for the party. I know you are making, by the way, did you see our uh, little custom menus that they have for the cocktails? Do, do they make them already? They, they are so great. Oh, good. An intern who's good at like graphic design made them. We have a, t what are they called? The zesty, be zesty, besty. Well, there's the, there's the working girl. Okay. There is the naughty the, Nana. The naughty and there is the tea is for Trish. And the tea is for Trish. They're great. Um, you're going to love them. You can do a lot with this tequila seltzer. Enough with the same old boring tequila seltzers that you see all the time. Get yourself some Amitas. You will not regret it. Um, and you can find Amitas this pride month at drinkmamitas.com and on GoPuff. Again, drinkmamitas.com and on GoPuff. Get yourself some Amitas. Live mucho this summer. You're going to absolutely love it. I have a slouch sock on. You have what sock? A slouch sock. Go ahead, and pull, go ahead and pull it up. What kind of socks do you wear? Costco. You have thought, you have calves, my friend. Well, I've been I choose to train. <laughs> you, yes. you've, been, you've been training. Mm -hmm. I never see that day. <laughs> now, who are these queens you have coming on? We have Jamie Wolf and Lucas Zelnick. Two comedians. I was on their show last week. They came in. They're very funny. Um, they're very great. We actually recorded with them prior to this intro, and we can confirm that it was very funny and it was very good. Yeah. You're I like those guys. We are having a meltdown. I can tell. Who? You. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing going on. <laughs> the lights are on, but no one's home. Everything. <laughs> everything every, you know, we're going to go to the interview. We're going to go to the interview. I got to take care of this. Everything is going to be great. Have a great weekend. Watch our interview with Dave. Watch our show with uh, about Taylor Swift, whatever the fuck we did. And check this out. Repost. We'll post you. Happy Pride. I got to go take care of my Nana. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Out and About. We're here with Lucas Zelnick and Jamie Wolf, uh, formerly host of the Sobrody podcast. Now they're host of Can I Go Home Now? Um, which ironically enough is what Joey says every time we start recording. Every time we start <laughs> recording. No, I didn't even get to that point. I said, Do I have to come in still? Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's our next podcast, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah. This the the vibe is off because we have to work a full day today, which I know is a it's a bit much for all of us, especially because we have our big party tonight and Joey's stressing out like crazy over the there's party. I don't know why. Do. What, what are you stressing do. out about? Well, there's things I asked Pat to get a dancer and that he didn't get me a dancer. I know. And I also lied. He's like, I was like, did you ask everyone in the office? I looked around the office. Hey, that's Who one, I, I asked him one thing. I did, I did that every single, single handedly thing for the party, every single thing. And I asked you to do one thing and you couldn't do it. Oh God. Uh -oh. It stinks. So that happens, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it <laughs> seems like <laughs> things are good between you guys at least. So yeah, that that's going to, we'll hit a, we'll hit a lull. We'll hit a little, we'll come to a screeching halt, but then we'll st pick up running again. Yeah. Things are good. Um, you wanted them to dance at the, tell them about your dancers. Who's going to be in the cage and we'll get to you guys in a second. Who's going to be in the cage. <laughs> Ebony's gonna be in the cage. I don't know if that's okay to have Ebony in the cage. We have the one black person coming in the cage. Oh, uh, she's gonna be, well, it's not, at least it's not at the border and at least it's not Latina. She is Latina. Is she? She's probably Puerto Rican, right? I have no idea. I could not tell you her origins. 
Well, she says the N word frequently. So I'm like, <laughs> Dominican. That's Dominican. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Dominican. If she says the N word, she's Dominican. It's not a cage Guaranteed. dancer. It's like a behind a fence. So it's kind of a whole vibe. The, the the theme is border. The theme is border crossing. <laughs> and burning in hell. <laughs> and burning in hell. So you cross the border. You're explaining you burn in to hell. CNN that the black woman being in the cage was for a vibe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was a vibe. It's well, a the vibe. theme was border crossing. <laughs> Anderson Cooper. Yeah, we were there. We were we were walking around. We don't have to even we'll have to bleep this, Marty. We were walking around the thing, and Joey goes, and when the people are in the cages, we just want to make sure the guests don't feed them. Yeah. <laughs> I go, okay. Well, you don't want to put like things to the thing that might bite. No, they will. They will nibble. Um, it's going to be fun though. I think. So this is the job you offered us is to be cage adjacent with yeah, our shirts. You can come on. out eventually, but just after your shift. How long is the shift? Two hours. Um, okay. That's a lot of time in a cage. I don't think I'll take it just because I could be outside of a cage in those two hours. Well, you can bounce on and off. Like you can each take a, a shift in the cage. So we could each have an hour in the oh, cage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. And what's the compensation? What the do you what? want? Money? Yeah. <laughs> you want money? I would, like, I would like notoriety. You'll get that regardless. There's going to be a lot of big wigs there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. A lot of big wigs paying attention to the person in the cage. Yeah. Well, I have all. It's, it's <laughs> well, we're going to spray you with a hose halfway through. <laughs> And that'll help you socializing with the big wigs after being in the cage. I was just, do you recognize me from <laughs> yeah, being yeah, exactly. in the cage? That was me. <laughs> Remember how your finger got bit? I bit your finger. You tried to feed me. You, tried, you do not want to feed me when I'm in the cage. That was not a good idea. <laughs> She's a method actress. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know why. I think it's going to be fine. We got to like tie up balloons and you have to create, get a haircut. We have to, we have to create, create a, a balloon cascade. I thought we have someone doing the arch for us. No, we had to. We had to save to get. We had to get the drag queen. What's so your could, budget for this party? You $2, have like fifty <laughs> things. Two thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get cages under two thousand dollars? It's part of the bar. It's part of the bar. It's, it's, oh, okay. It's, it's, a, it's okay. a cage bar. Yeah. It's what kind bar. of bar is? It? Where is it? Sucker Punch Sports Bar. Oh, I it's a sports bar with a Sucker oh, Punch. Did you? Yeah, but oh, yeah. there's cages in there. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a fence. It's like the, the theme is like boxing. So it's like a, a thing where people go to take photos and there's like a punching bag, bag hanging down. The bartenders whatever. don't wear should they have just boxing. Oh, no, no you're thinking boxers. of boxers. Oh, I'm thinking of boxers. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, yeah. you, why would you go to boxers? Doing a show. Yeah. What a kind of show? show? Is, it a, <laughs> is it a gay bar? <laughs> a drag, yeah. Boxers. I was doing a drag reading. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Just, just a stand up show. Where is it? Is it Hell's Kitchen? There's one in Hell's Kitchen. Boxers. In boxers. Okay. I did the one in Hell's Kitchen. Okay. Yeah. I bet you did. Yeah, it was a really good show, actually. I got heckled a ton with really? a lot of sexual heckles. Take it off. Take it off. Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Would you guys mind showing us your moves? Right now? Yeah. I don't really have moves to show. But we could, sure, I, I wouldn't mind. Marty, maybe have some API <laughs> Why doesn't Jamie play? start? <laughs> I wouldn't mind at all showing you Jamie's moves. Why did, Jamie, why don't you give it mostly, a shot? Mostly I do that TikTok dance where they just hump the floor. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Yeah. I, I love that. Like, are you I, guys related? We're no, not. They look alike. No. We do look we do like are you from um, Oregon? No, but I love that as a second question to are you related? <laughs> <laughs> Mormons? What? Mormon? I'm Jewish. Oh. I'm a we big do look Mormon, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah, half yeah. though, right? No, I'm a full-blown Jew. You're full-blown. I'm a full-blown Jew. My like Holocaust and all of it. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, the podcast has ended. Yeah. <laughs> so we're- <laughs> um, Marty's Jewish as well. I am, yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. Nice job, yeah. Marty. A Jew wow. in New York, yeah. A Jew in New York. <laughs> That's, uh, Original. There's Made Original. in Manhattan, and then there's a sequel movie coming out called A Jew in New York, and uh, <laughs> it's a lot less interesting. Are you Jewish, Joey? No, no. No. Not an atheist, but... Are you? Yes. You I hate God. when people you say they're atheists believe, as believe... an answer to what religion are you? Because that's not a religion. Oh, I'm anti-religion. There no, we go. but like what religion were you? What are, are your parents? Catholic. Okay. So you were born Catholic. Now yes. you, you eschewed Catholicism. Eschewed. Not Catholicism. I just don't believe that there's like a, a man in the sky, like a big anything. spaghetti monster Well, yeah, but me sky. saying I'm Jewish doesn't <laughs> imply that I believe there's a man in the sky. Oh. It just me being Jewish <laughs> implies that I am pushy. Yeah, and the rock. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, like Jewish to me is a very cultural. Yeah, that's more culture. That's more of an it's more nationality than it is a religion. Yeah, Did you say yeah. neurotic. Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah. The vibe I'm actually getting from you is a little Jewish. Yeah. You. Yeah. You might be Italians Jewish. Italians and Jerry. Jews are they're that's, parallel to yeah, each other. Yeah. They can play true. each other in movies. Yeah, yeah. For sure. That's very true. Um now let me tell me about yourselves. Do you, you girls have a, a podcast? We, we do. We, we ladies do. Yeah. And where'd you guys meet? <laughs> we ladies do. At boxers. <laughs> 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 in the bathroom of a boxer yeah. in the Equinox closed. steam room actually uh, <laughs> 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 you been? Your eyes I've never been to an Equinox steam room so I, I I'm a member house. of Equinox <laughs> yeah. but I just I think I know not to go in I don't yeah. want to ruin a party for anybody yeah, yeah. I do there have been times when I want to steam but I don't want to get drained of all the cum in my body yeah yeah, yeah. so I'm like if, how could I retain my cum while steaming yeah because you want you want to keep that you want to edge energy. yeah <laughs> want to edge i like to edge life by not coming a lot <laughs> yeah. did you guys climax this morning uh, not, not this morning no no wow. do you, how constantly you do you guys get it out me not yeah. very often really no i'm more of a giver i'd say like, i don't i don't need anyone touching me i just like to like he's intaking the cum yeah, okay I, I take it in how many loads do you t- take in a day a day yeah uh, in an ideal world an ideal one, I mean, we want a day, but like, usually it's, now it's yeah. around probably like, we could probably do it maybe like four times a week, five times a week. Oh, okay. okay. You have a boyfriend? Or, yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to say four times a day. Like, because no, 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 I feel no. like the gay world is like, you're actually getting your net, you have like a surplus of jizz coming in that you would like to call down to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. No, not anymore. I'm an old lady. I can't keep up with it anymore. Yeah. But you've been, you've been, your tea has improved. Yeah. My it's, testosterone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I stopped. I stopped shooting up. Remember last time? Yeah. I, thought I was having a heart attack. Yeah. I sh- I would shoot him up with testosterone every Tuesday, like a really big dose, right in his butt. T Tuesdays. T you, Tuesdays. You would inject him with testosterone, but okay. he was taking so much <laughs> that his heart started to kind of like twist, molt. So he went to the doctor. His and heart started to twist. It was like it was like seizing up. So he started, which long, is by the way, which is worth it. But continue. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's obviously. worth it for whatever um, tea does. So he went to the doctor and thought he was having a heart attack, but it didn't turn out to be that. No, it was just a twisted heart. No, it's much... too much cocaine Saturday before. Oh, oh, oh okay. so it wasn't not even, even tea related. Tea thing. No, no. What does tea do? Well, we play. I have I have the, test, the same testosterone level as a thirteen year old girl. So I have, oh, to like, okay. I have to like, I'm like basically you transgender boost. without being transgender. <laughs> You're naturally. Like biologically I'm trans, uh, biologically I'm a woman, but like on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> like my, blood, my, blood, my blood work shows that I'm a woman, but you understand, Jamie. I, yeah. I totally get yeah. that. Well, by the way, thank you for having two straight guys on during Pride Month. We really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Happy Pride here. Month. Huh? Oh, happy Pride Month. Yeah. We're being attacked from every angle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the name of your oh. podcast? You know, she's sober. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I'm almost there. Oh. <laughs> oh I'm glad I, that you, that, I would argue I'm call bullshit. almost sober is the opposite of sober. I don't when really you're like closest to getting sober, you're the you think you should be, but you're sober. not willing to. No, do I'm it. not gonna be. I never be sober. I mean, that's just not something I believe in. But it's I just like I I, would, I don't think I need like I could stop drinking like for a long time and not need it, but I would never like fully go sober. Well, you're what's not gonna your, be like I'm a sober guy, but you might take three or four days off. No, like yeah, that's not longer. the same. Maybe longer? Three or four days. No, no, no. I could go a long time. <laughs> Not alcohol. Are you sober from everything? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Did, did, you, did you have an addiction oh. problem prior to this, or you just don't like drinking? I used to do a lot of <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so ton. you came from a privileged neighborhood. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. My parents yeah. had health insurance. That's Where did you grow up? Philadelphia. Oh, I was just there. Really? Mm-hmm. How'd you like it? I've been there. I've, I spent a lot of time there um, in my life. I liked it. It was nice. I went to, um, I had an event at Samson Street. We have a Barstool Bar over there. So I was doing an appearance over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a pride, it was a pride thing. And do you still live there? N- do I still live there now? Yeah. No, I live in New York. And do you live together? We do yeah. not. Yeah, we live together. <laughs> we don't, but <laughs> we spend a lot of time together. Probably. I and could. you grow up? Sorry. I grew up in Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. That's since the Jew. Okay. Uh, that's, the, that's the Jew in me. Yeah. yeah. And I never was addicted to anything. But everybody else I know Schmier? was. <laughs> Lush. <laughs> Does that Beer. include an everything bagel? Yeah. yeah. I was pretty addicted to schmear. Yeah. A good scallion cream cheese. Is, uh, addicted to I your mean, mother's approval? He was elect- he's, he's addicted, he's addicted to, to, to Eli Zabar's. <laughs> I went to high school with one of the Zabar kids. Oh, did you? Yeah, he's actually a comedian. Where'd you go? Oh. Dalton? Of I went to Fieldston. Um, yeah, every rich kid's a comedian, by the yeah. way. Um, but well, it only... allows you to have a job while not having a job. 
Yeah, and it's the only, I mean, producing, directing, being a comedian, all the jobs that sound cool that you don't actually have to get paid for because you have a trust fund are rich kid jobs, yeah. obviously. Or very poor person jobs. Oh. You know, like if you're if you're already homeless, why not be a comedian? You're already talking to random people on the street. That's a great, that's a really yeah. good, yeah. that's a really True good dad. point. Yeah. <laughs> You're either almost insane <laughs> so that why not just be fully insane and be a comedian or you're so insulated financially. Yeah. yeah the comedians are very often unhinged and have problems. A lot of comedians are sober. Yes. Yes. You know I mean, cause they, cause they got that they got there somehow and now it's just fun. They need to fill the void somehow. And it's the, it's the addiction of the applause that they're addicted to now. Yeah. You need yeah. the hit of, of a, pre yes. A dopamine hit. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, I can't feel the anything. rush of going on stage. And I mean, it's a very yeah. addictive thing. And then it does, it singes your brain. Well, I'm on Ozempics now, so I have no addictions anymore. It, sir, it, it cured all of them. It cured your mental illness as well. Um, a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Hmm. What is Ozempics? Is that like a tea enhancing? No, it's a weight loss drug. <laughs> okay. was, it's not weight loss. It was, it's for diabetes, but it's also people are losing weight from it. Now it's curing all different addictions. I heard, is that what Jess Ker what? Jesse Kirsten's on? No, yeah, she's she, on like a pill for something. Is she not? No, yeah, she's not it like makes you, it makes you like not want to like yeah get high basically. But she's on a pill for something. She's That's like, a, this is a pill to get rid of my cravings for everything. Yeah, for high, yeah, except uh, lunch box. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she likes to eat pussy. <laughs> her words, not ours. <laughs> she's incredible. We Isn't love she her. The best. She was just here. Yeah. She was she's in that very seat. fucking incredible. Yeah, she was in this seat. Yeah, <gasps> you can smell it if you'd like. Uh, after the pod, <laughs> <laughs> we have a very. Very serious announcement for all of our Men Mafia um, listeners here. If you suffer from the symptoms of ADHD, lack of focus, no productivity, your brain is constantly wandering, you need to check out Proper Wild's clean all-day energy shots because it's going to help with that. That's right. Proper Wild uses organic caffeine stacked with l Thelonine, ooh, which has clinically been shown to boost your energy, mm -hmm. focus, and productivity without the jitters or crash. There's no preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no horrible chemicals, just natural tasting energy shot with clean ingredients that work. It's great. We love Proper Wild. Here's the thing. They send about um, a big pallet of this stuff over to the office and it goes like so fast. hot cakes. Hot cakes. It's delicious. And the thing is, a lot of times with energy drinks, you get a crash. There is none of that with Proper Wild. It's light and it actually keeps you going. They taste good. It's one little shot. You just pop it. You know, I just chug it right down and you really feel focused throughout the day. You feel, you know, and I hate the jitters. I get yes. feeling uh, like, you know, shaky. You don't get the jitters. You get clean energy. The flavors are delicious. I like mixing it with my cocktails. I tell you, when I go out, I get my regular... Um, um, like vodka and seltzer and I just pour one of those in so I get energy to go out throughout the night. I don't feel like, you know, I'm, you know, I feel like I can kind of keep up because I'm tired. I'm an old gal. I need, I need something to keep me up. You put it in with your, you do, you do, he does mixers with it too. And he turned me on to mixers. You can mix this in with a little bit of booze. Let me tell you something that will get your night going in the best way possible. So we love proper wild. Um, they've actually partnered with us for pride as well. So we're going to be drinking that along the parade route, keeping us going, keeping us energetic um, and having fun. So go to properwild.com slash barstool to try proper wild for 30% off. This is already affordable guys. Properwild.com slash barstool. They're going to give you 30% off. I guarantee you're going to love it. And it's going to help you with those symptoms of ADHD, which I know all of you have. <laughs> so what do you guys do every weekend? Do you have shows every weekend? Every weekend. Yeah. Together? It's always yeah. together. You're always, you're the one, you're like, or you go separate. Not always together. Yeah, we're, and, yeah. we're together a fair amount, but yeah. we're not, to, we don't go on stage together. We have individual acts, but. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah like but in we, the same club. We're often on the same show. Yeah. yeah. Probably four days a week, we're on the same show. Well, we started a club together, so we're always there if we're in. Oh, New where's York. the club? In Lower East Side. What's it called? Sesh Comedy. That's your comedy club. Yeah. What's it called? Yeah. That's nice. Sesh. Yeah, it's, it's a like session. A, uh, like yeah. I mean, honestly, it was we had a brand sponsor. They're like a hard seltzer company started by my little cousin. Is it What's Mamitas? It what? Mamitas. It's Mamitas. Yeah, Sesh is Mamitas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell who we're sponsored. The, the, the hard seltzer company that sponsored our comedy club is Mamitas, the sponsor of Barstool. <laughs> no, what is it? What is it actually? Uh, it's called Sesh. Sesh. It's a, it's oh, a hard it's seltzer S company. And, oh. and we were like, Sesh doesn't mean anything. So we might as well name a club after it. And then they gave us free drinks and we would give out the drinks at the club. And that's Did kinda... they give you money to like start open the, to open the club. Yeah, yeah. They gave us money towards the rent of the space. We opened it. It was like a, a vacant retail space. Oh, and so we cool. opened it like, remember that first summer when everyone thought COVID was over, but yeah. it was like before Delta. It was like the summer after the what vaccine. Was Delta? Yeah. 
The variant. That was the I'm variant. sorry. You guys Delta are, Delta I forgot eight. you guys are right wing to the point that you're like, Is we it? didn't get to Delta variant. <laughs> <laughs> this was created in a lab as well. Yeah. <laughs> With the intent of destroying democracy. <laughs> anyway, Sesh, Delta eight, they gave you rent. It's in the lower East hmm. side. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. You have, how often do you have shows? Uh, Wednesday generally speaking, Saturday. we perform six nights a week, but at Sesh, it's, yeah, we have a show Wednesday together. It's BYOB. It is. Oh, that's exciting. So people get really turned up. Oh, people yeah. People do. Yeah. People they don't sure really, do. they don't really come for the comedy. It's more of a pregame. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause people don't like comedy, but they like to drink. Do you serve ice there? Do you nice. have ice there for people to use? That's, that's what no you should ice. get. If anyone's at BYOB place, you're serving your own, if you have to bring your own cocktails. I Joey, when I, you I, see I, how I, shitty this place is, ice is going to be the least of your concerns. I'm looking okay. at it right we now. Have, like, we don't have a toilet. We you, we have one toilet barely. in there and uh, it's it gets destroyed. How people many, vomit on it. How many people can fit in the room? 70. 70? Do you have decent... chairs? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah it's do we have chairs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a standing. No, I'm gonna you got to like center yawn. your expectations. It's not as good as having ice. It's not as bad as having no nowhere to sit. At all. <laughs> have you ever, it's somewhere in between. Have you ever had ice called on you <laughs> during a show? How much is it to get in? 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. And that oh. goes towards the rent of your chair. The the chairs are owned. It's owned and operated. Boy. Nice job. We gotta yeah. ask. Yeah. Seventy. You have seventy chairs. Yeah. <laughs> that's ten dollars each. That's that's the Jew and me. Yeah. It's ten dollars each. It's probably seven hundred dollars. The Jew and me also sounds like a movie about yeah. self exploration. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Billy the Crystal. Jew and me. How old are you, boys? Twenty eight. Twenty six. That's so funny. You're twenty eight. I'll be, huh? I'll be 28. I'm 25. Mm. You'll be 28. In three years. He's, born a, he's born in a leap year. <laughs> I'll be 28. I'm she has it. I wish I did. Mm. It's so smoky out there. Are you yeah. guys staying? Oh, yeah, did you guys up. mask up? No. no. I masked up. You did? I can't yep. do that. I will bring me to sw the sweet embrace of death sooner, please. How old were you guys when you met each other? 23. Two, I think. Oh, so recently? I was 22. Wait, how did you guys meet? Two? Four years ago. How'd you guys meet? Uh, we were at <laughs> we were at an open mic where a crazy person set off a smoke set off a smoke. Was bomb. it Chloe LeBranch? It <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That's that's an inside comedy joke. That's an inside, yeah, that's a comedian we know. Yeah, uh, I know Chloe. I've known her for years. She's, <laughs> she's very funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. She sets off smoke alarms a lot? Mm -hmm. No, she's just a lunatic. She's the best uh, possible she's, life. She's yeah. hilarious. She's, I had her on the show once and she didn't talk. Uh, oh, on this show? Yeah. I'm yeah, I mean, it the rest de of the show. depends what mood you catch her in. I mean, she'd either say a lot or... Potentially not so much at all. <laughs> so was that that first one that we did with like, Karen with you and me? Yeah, that we just didn't put. I out. was like, why? Yeah. I was like, why do you guys come here if you're not going to talk? They were like, <laughs> uh, like okay. Yeah. Well, so you're at your open mic night. Someone pulled a fire alarm. Well, I, I was on stage While performing, and then this guy they said we got to end this. Started yelling at he me. He did like a anti Hitler rant. This guy. You did. No, Jamie was doing a very pro Hitler I, joke. I have a time. joke that's very very pro Nazi. <laughs> Can you um, say it? What? But I think I've heard it before. <laughs> no, no, I, I, have I was dementia. kidding. Nazis are good. <laughs> you can clip this, by the way, and just put it directly yeah. out across all. Nazis are good. Yeah, that was Jamie's joke. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I used to say Nazis are good. Where's the camera? I want to look. <laughs> I want to look Nazis directly into the good. camera when I say this one. We as Jews, not not Jews and Nazis. It's a it's a real uh, it's a story as old as time. Am I right? A real <laughs> push. Game of cat and mouse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Tom and mouth. Jerry. We who are Jews without Nazis? And frankly, who are Nazis without Jews? Yeah, wow. yeah. Nazis would be so lost without. Jews. Jews, they, what? Who, who do we even target anymore? Yeah, the French. <laughs> <laughs> the French. I'm keeping my mouth shut. I'm in a contract here. <laughs> so you said. Um, so I said, gotta, it, let's get out of here. I mentioned Nazis, and then this guy started freaking out, and he uh, threw a spoke bomb. He went, "I hate Hitler. I hate Hitler." Yeah, and yeah. I was like, "All right, man, you gotta, you gotta chill." And then he kept going. I went on to a different joke, and then he kept going. He got kicked out. Went upstairs. I got off stage. Uh, you, we both went upstairs because yeah. it's a real kick in the dick. Set. No, I had to follow him. Was it the comedy cellar? What? 
Uh, no, these were we were just starting as comedians. Okay. So we were when you when you're just starting, obviously you're at the open mic level. But at the open mic level, this, there are insane people everywhere. It's really it's more it, they let people in more easily than a homeless shelter at an open mic. Oh. This was the basement <laughs> of a Polish nightclub. Ooh, yes, zesty slash art gallery slash whiskey tasting room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy was like an a te- one of those terrible entrepreneurs that like the only thing consistent was he kept having idea. Like maybe if we're this, the business will succeed. No yes. one would really come. So he was like, one day it was an art gallery. Then it was a nightclub. It was a whiskey there tasting. There was a show room, I watched about that on shop. Showtime about um how Chippendales got started. <laughs> and it was, oh, I love that show. same thing. It was um. Same thing. He had. He was. It was like a like a, a dumpling house, and then it got turned into this, and then it got turned into this, and then eventually became a strip club for men. That's like most places you do comedy because venues that are not comedy clubs will let comedy in just to make some money as they like figure out what they are. The second floor of two A. <laughs> Way yeah. back in the day. Yeah. So you guys met. So what? You ran outside and you just locked eyes and you were friends. So we went upstairs and he was like, that was crazy. And we, but when we went upstairs, there was like his dick was out. There was <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. You want to suck it? <laughs> I need to stop interrupting you. There was a nurse upstairs and it was a male nurse. and <laughs> he, he checked us out. No, but the guy was fucking crazy. He had like fingerless gloves and a trench coat. And so I also I had seen Jamie. Jamie started before I did in stand up. So Jamie was like probably the one of the best people still going to open mics at that time. Yeah. And so when you're at that level, like everyone was kind of trying to suck Jamie off. Yeah. Like not literally, not literally, but well, so <laughs> um, well, <laughs> um, but so I kind of courted Jamie as a friend and then we became friends. That's exciting. Now here, look, now look at you. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> On out and about. I there know. You, are. <laughs> oh, you know face. what they say? Out and about is the gateway to KFC radio. Play your, <laughs> you know, you got, you ladies play your cards right. And maybe a, a good six or seven months, you might get the call up to the, big, to the bigs. <laughs> they have their own studio. They have their own studio. We'll take you in there later today. Great. Um, we won't. Um, Perfect. <laughs> Lucas is recently single. Yeah, I'm sorry. And he's I'm, looking to date. So am I. How long were you dating him? Um, <laughs> it was uh, it was a very brief but fiery relationship. I know those that were. I had three month relationship. Three months. I called him my ninety day fiance, and I never. I'm still not over it. Uh, we got matching tattoos. No, you, is it still on? The matching tattoo. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had the opportunity to have laser removal since I saw you <laughs> last week. <laughs> what? Is no, I have a thigh, but this was my Let's first see. on my arm. We should cut it out with a knife right now. Wait, let me see. Can you see? It's not terrible. It's not like her name or anything. I can't see it. Move that microphone out of here. Sorry. Let me see. <laughs> Move it down. down. <laughs> there it is. What is that? Oh, it's a music note. Is that a kid? No, it's like two people on a beach. Two people on a beach blanket. One represents me and one represents nobody. Did you guys have a great day on the beach? Did you have a great day on the beach together and that's what to, mem- to commemorate it? No, it was moving really fast and we both were like, this is it at the what, time. What happened? Um, well... I start crying. There's a, um, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of meat on this bone. I'm telling yeah, you. So we like, already spoke about this. There was, uh, I've been jonesing to get back to this story. It's fascinating. I, I will say this person may have told me that she had a symptoms penis. of having a penis, and no, some symptom. She was. She, she became AIDS. hot. She had AIDS. <laughs> Um, after finding out she had AIDS and that I did too, we decided to split up and spread. Yeah. <laughs> get more get more you know? ground. Yeah. Cover more ground. No, she, she just became sort of hot and cold on me, whether my fault or hers, I don't know, but a lot of big promises were made in the first month, kind of a U-Haul situation and, uh, the matching tattoos. And then I think she sort of panicked about the intensity and You're about to move in together. No, we weren't about to move in, though that was like something that was talked about in the first month. But that like we both kind of walked to that one back. But then it just sort of we had to run it by his lawyers first before that. <laughs> yeah, before that we, I have apartment. to sign a prenup whenever I'm hanging out with anybody. So uh, <laughs> we but yeah, she she broke up with me, if that's what you're. Yeah. But over nothing, it wasn't, there was no infidelity. It was just kind of a different. Thing. I didn't commit infidelity. I can't speak to her. I don't know. I don't think, think she did. No, I don't. Well, I don't think so, but I don't think so. What I don't think she would have had time. We hung out a lot. But it would have been uh, challenging well, yeah. scheduling wise to commit infidelity. Well, I, I'm very sorry to hear that. That's it's very rough. I know what I know how you're feeling. Yeah, it, it's you know I'm 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 coming over the hump. I'm coming over the hump. But it was a yeah. The first week I was like I did Keep busy. But yeah, Keep busy. Yeah, this was the Raquel to his ex's Ariana. 
Mm -hmm. Whatever that means for sure. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, yeah. are you dating anyone now? Um, I'm, I'm out there. I'm open. I'm looking around. Are you on um, JDate? I'm not. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I wonder what the average age on J-Date is. What's sure we can one? find out. Locks Club. Uh, yeah, the Locks Club is the Oh, new they've one. tried to get me to Yeah, that. well, they Those said fuckers. it's, like, exclusive, but, like, I'm on it. So, yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, really, yeah. like, yeah. They hit me up, like, to trying to get me to be an ambassador for that shit because they yeah. want a fucking Aryan Jew. Jews are so goddamn anti-Semitic. You know is what I mean? Is true? <clears throat> yeah, like, implicitly. <clears throat> What does that mean? It means that, that they're like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I, don't know what like, I, I more meant like internalized anti-Semitism, yes. you know, how like hierarchy, of it's like things. colorism in race where black people are like paper bag test. What's, yeah. that? What's that? Paper bag test was that something that happened back in the, like right, right in like um, the turn of the century where light skinned black people oh my God. were felt elite. So that's so they were having parties and things like that and social events. If someone was darker than the skin of the color of a paper bag, they weren't allowed in. Oh, they were considered less than right. So that so they weren't. So only if a light skinned black person can, yeah. can be there. If you're darker than this, you couldn't come into their party. Right. And where's the camera again? It and that's like, wrong. It was like, <laughs> racism. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, yeah like for sure. So that's so there's a bit of homophobia. Yeah. Same thing. Like, you know, only jocks, no fats, no femmes, no Asians. I still I still go by that credo. <laughs> <laughs> on Grindr, they used to let you pick your race on the app. And they don't wild. anymore? Because I think on Hinge, you can actually filter out races. No right? way. No, you can't. Yeah, I'm you pretty filter sure. Out signs. You can filter out like caps, uh, star signs. You can do different let me, races. Can I look? Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to look. I th I think you can filter out race on Hinge. What's an Ashkenazi Jewish person? Like, Both of us. Yeah. <laughs> and then what's the other one? Ashkenazi. This I don't Sephardic. Know. Yeah, it's like Sephardic. Sephardic. Yeah, those are Here like more Middle the Eastern Ethnicity Jews. open to all. Okay, this is kind of interesting. You can actually, they don't let you it's opt wild. out. They let you opt in. So What? Oh. You can, uh, you can deselect open to all, and then you can just start checking the ethnicities that you're into. So I'm going to probably obviously check off Pacific Islander. That's not even right. <laughs> close. <laughs> Middle Eastern. Hey. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> East Asian, please. East Asian. Wait, what's East Asian? How, East Asian. It's like Asian. Chinese. East Asian is just Asian. Is, yeah. that's, that's like South a Asian, Southeast Asian. That's like Indian, Bengal. Filipino. They don't have, um, they don't have, oh, they do have Native American. Hmm. Huh. What if I only selected Native American? I want to see what comes would up. They, would anyone York. come up? Someone from the Slapaho tribe will show up. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, no response to that. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Hinges. Wow. Amelia is. Native American? No, you're not. You no. Is she in the building? I think it's just not. <laughs> it's six feet away. No, she she's German. The first person that came up when I selected only Native American was German. That's because they're tapping into your internalized anti-Semitism. <laughs> want you with a well, German it's man. a real Tom and Jerry situation with uh, <laughs> this girl. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I I mean I selected only Native American. Maybe it takes a sec to update, but that. Do you mind if I take a peek um, at your hinge? Yes, yeah. I want to. You mean my profile? Picture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I mean, swipe, I mean, swipe. Oh, on. I have to put this is a deal breaker. So there's another button. If it's not Native American, I ha then have to say it's a it's a deal breaker. Yeah, if they're not <laughs> can you select white? Is that a. Yeah, you can select only white. <laughs> and then you can click this is a deal breaker <laughs> yes. if you're not white. You can do that. Yeah. Wow. You can do that. <laughs> and in right. fact, it, what's interesting is I'm I'm assuming Hinge has the data well, on how many something. people you, say white only. No, I don't pay. I think if you're paying for Hinge, if you're paying for any service, you should be allowed to pick exactly where the fuck you want, not worry about how people feel. Agree. Choose like, the I'm race. For it. If I'm not want, wasting yeah. this time. If I don't like this certain yeah. person, I don't want to date that certain person. Yeah. So like, if I'm paying for it, I'm going to get I agree. But yeah. and we, we should have to, separate water What if you don't know the person? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want, then but then if you don't know the person and you're judging whether or not you like them based well, on I'm going to start, a, I'm gonna so start a new- It would be an issue. I'm going to start a new Nazi dating app. It's called Nazi Dazi. And you go on Dazis with other Nazis. Indians and Nazis. <laughs> yeah, it's Native Dotsie? Americans. Dotsy, like it's it's like it's Dave. German people who are seeking Indian. This people. is you. Yeah, that's me. That's my hinge. So you're you letting them through. know. We can put this on the big screen after Marty. Yeah, you can put that. You can put my hinge on the big screen if that. I just want to see the topless picture. Six ten. Oh yeah, you can see the topless picture. It's obviously on there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Good Lord. Naturally smooth? <laughs> yes, I don't uh, shave he anything other than my... I manscape my pubes, would but Lucas I don't be shave an my otter? Chest. What would you consider Lucas? He's a twonk. Yeah, he's a, a twonk. A twonk. What's like that a hunk. A hunky. A hunk. Oh, okay. Yeah. A twonk. Okay. You'd both be twonks. No, I'm a, I'm a twink. I Please. Guess so. 
Maybe back please. in the request. <laughs> Could I please may be I, a twin? May I is be that a whole bubblegum pink? <laughs> Sorry. Is that whole bubblegum pink? The what? The your, whole. Your whole. Is your whole bubblegum pink? What yeah. the brown fuck don't you understand? Her coochie pink. Paper bag. Your booty hole brown. How dark a paper bag? You won't be allowed in some circles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have a question. How do you know if your booty hole is pink? Just bend Stand it over. Up, I'll, Stand up, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Wait, is that a natural thing or that's a bleaching Stand thing? Up. Like, no, could, I, could I naturally have a pink booty yeah, hole? You both have pink assholes, I'm sure. No, yeah. he's brown. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's an Ashkenazi Jew. No, but Ashkenazi is very white, naturally. Really? Sephardic is brown. D darker skinned Jews are typically Sephardic Jews. Is that called a black Jew? No, that's a black Israelite. And those people oh. are black. Not in, I don't know why I put that much stain. Black. On the shout word. out, shout <laughs> out Kyrie. Are black. Kyrie, that's right. Kyrie is he a, is a black Jew. Really? He's well, Jewish. <laughs> he says he has family members that are Jewish and he uses that as, as an excuse to, to be agent. slightly Nazi propaganda. He means yeah. his agent. His, 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 <laughs> and Native American. He actually like tries to check all the boxes. He's trying to get his kids into college. Yeah. I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Jews can't be Native American, really, if you're both sides Jewish, that is. It's just kind of impossible because we right. weren't in America. Yo, I don't know about you, but I cannot drink as much as I could in college without feeling like crap. And this has been you know, an ongoing problem for me. So even if just a few drinks has you feeling like crap these days and in a world where we're being pulled in a thousand different directions, you can't afford to miss a day. That's the worst part about drinking. You drink, you feel like crap. The whole next day, you're sluggish, you're feeling gross. More Labs can help with that. More Labs has created this awesome lifesaver drink called Morning Recovery that helps you prevent rough mornings after drinking. This is something that I absolutely swear by. That's right. Similar drinks existed in Korea for a long time. But there are no options like this in the U.S. that work. So the founder quit his job at Tesla to fix and create a morning recovery. It's super simple. All you have to do is drink one morning recovery um, while you drink or before you go to bed. And it contains super herbs, vitamins, and minerals that help you bounce back. It's a proprietary blend of electrolytes that rehydrate you. So you can have fun all night mm -hmm. and feel good the next day. Feel like a real human like you did when you were 21. So the people at Morning Labs conducted a clinical study. And users of morning recovery felt up to 80% better than those without morning recovery across various symptoms after drinking. So the long and short of it is this. If you feel like crap after drinking, try Morning Labs Morning Recovery. It's going to help you feel hydrated. It's going to really help with those effects um, the next day after drinking. So go to morelabs.com. That's morelabs.com and use code OUT25 for 25% off your first order of Morning Recovery. Again, that's 25% off your first order of Morning Recovery at morelabs.com and use code OUT. Now back to the show. Have either of you ever soiled yourselves? <laughs> what did you, you, you say? Have you ever soiled yourself? Yes. Uh, I have not soiled myself recently. No, I have a constipation problem, though. Ew. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I know someone who has that. Really? Who? It's really challenging. Yeah. Like, How often do you go? Well, lately I've actually been on a really good streak. I think the breakup and like when, before my breakup, things were not so good. You were regular before. Or you weren't. No, no I'm weren't. saying anxiety and fear causes me to shit. Yes. So I was anxious in the relationship before she broke up with me because I, I had was a pregnancy scare back when I was young and I, I um <laughs> I had the shits. Yeah. Did you uh, wait really? Oh I I don't know why I pictured you were afraid that you were pregnant, but that, that doesn't That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you already said you were biologically yeah. female earlier on the podcast, so I didn't know if that was I just want to clear that up. <laughs> um but back yeah. to your DMs. No, so I was shitting pretty well for a while. But now that I'm kind of back to not being that anxious because like the breakup is what it is, uh, I'm I'm having trouble pooping again. You know, you can get up your fiber intake. I take pills. Which ones? Psyllium Citrus husk? cell. Citrus cell. Okay. Yeah. What'd you call it? Psyllium husk. It's just a natural. <laughs> it's the wrong ingredient in all those fiber pills. What about you? When did you shit yourself last? Uh, <laughs> right I now. I last shit myself in high school. What was what Ooh. happened? Drinking, you took a oh so you were he was an early adapt he was doing like big time pills when he was like fifteen yeah yeah oxys but, but those it's those lucky to shit up. yourself when you're oh you on can't oxy. shit for weeks when you're on oxy so where does the food go but that's always the question that I, I wonder that too I think it congeals and, it and congeals and congeals and then yeah. when you do shit it's like you're shitting out a pencil or something yeah. Oh my god! Like I like have scratches. So I'll have like a hurts. five day off Ew. situation, yeah. and then I'll have a purge day where I'll take like six shits. Ooh! Like once you get going, you can go. It's, ad it's addicting. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I go, I'm always I go three times a day. I'm oh, always same. chasing the oh, proverbial nice. shit. Regular. 
Yeah. You go I, three times a day? That's very regular. Yeah. I'm is all, it, I'm all, I does it have to do with much being more. gay? Are, no. <laughs> but does oh it, <laughs> I, I don't want to. That's a good idea, though. No. But, but, I'm, I wish. but I wish there is a the case to be made for the idea that anal sex helps you shit, no? It kind of pushes it back in. No, I think it's opposite. But it, you have to clean yourself out in order to get even take it anyway. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you have to. You have to like. How sure enemas. are you that you're? Oh, enemas. Yeah. Okay. How prepared do you have to get to do anal sex? Is Depending on how comfortable you are. <laughs> with Sounds your person, so medical. <laughs> I, mean, I do a, f- a thorough clean out. Oh yeah. You take it. You do an enema. Yeah, like and, and like multiple until it's until the water runs clear. Oh, nice. so the water runs clear. You, you do the uh, the Poland Spring with the crunched up water bottle. No, I have all. Do you remember I have I bought every device on my registry. Yeah, for for, for um half of his he puts out like a list for every his birthday year. for his list, and half of it is like I need this dildo, I need this anima, I need okay. this thing. So, the, but he you, gets them all. If you ever want to clean yourself out, eighty uh, third Street is the place to go. Joey's apartment oh, is the place. Okay. To go. Oh, I, nice. I, gave, I gave everything away. I only have a couple, only the, the core ones I use. I just gave someone here in the office that the shower attachment, I won't say who it was. Who was it? I can't say their name. Just a dildo shower attachment? It, it's not a dildo. It's, it's a, it's a an enema shower attachment. Okay. Oh, how's that it was work? demon twink. No. Does it, does the water go in from the shower? And yeah, then it, it basically, you know, turns it on and off and goes up. Okay. Uh, it it was, goes up your butt. You have to be a plumber to know how to, to, know how to, to, know how to use it. <laughs> it was King Jack. It was catching. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you have to switch enemas? Switch. No, they're, they're, you don't switch them. You use the same one, but you like clean oh. them. Or you it's disposable. disposable. It's, a, it's, it's refillable. It's like a refillable bulb with a, with a, a and hug. then you just shoot some water up there, and that makes oh. you shit. Well, you oh. hold it in, Martin, and then you, you hold it in, and, an and then you lay down. Then you like lay on your face like this, like your chest on your on the floor, and your yeah. ass in the air. You so do that. All, you have to. Otherwise, it's good. Has all the uh, to your oh, oh well, then you sorry. go to the bath, then you go to sit on the toilet, let it out, and then you do it. Keep doing ah. it. Did you ever butt chug in college? <laughs> no, but I would. <laughs> I, yeah, that's what I would do. You've done booty bumps, you get fucked up. You've butt chugged you for real. Do. You really have. Yeah, you what it really hurts. Yeah, I'm sure that's so stupid. Pull alcohol. It up. I am very, uh, I get uneasy when it comes to my butthole. Have you ever had it played with? <laughs> No, I jump like I've had girls go in that direction and I'll jump like 30 feet in the air. I mean, ah, 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 stop. Because you're afraid it's not clean or you just don't like the feeling of Probably it? No, the both. feeling, it's very ticklish to me. It's very that's ticklish. Good. Oh, there. Yeah. So here's the bulb. Okay. That one. That's one I have. All the way on the right. That's a small one. Though. I have a larger one that I got ordered from Amazon. So you just put water in that <laughs> and you shoot one. it up your bulb. The bulb. Uh, the bulb wasn't storing enough the bulb, butthole Marty. water for oh you. God. The black bulb. Click on that one, sixteen thirty. That's what I have. <laughs> yeah, I have that I one. I have that one. I have the one next to it. I have, have that wait. One. Oh, there, is that a foot pump on one of them? No, no. <laughs> I have foot that pump. one. Why would you need <laughs> a foot pump? Back, but that's amazing. The other one <laughs> for, the, for the. I also have the aerator. Go next to it. That same picture next to it. The, the aerator. Right? Why are you shooting air the right. into there? What the that? fuck is an aerator, I, Joe? No, no, this is electronic. I oh, have this I, one too. Electronic enema. Yeah, so the, you don't have to squeeze the water; just push, push Marty, through go you. to that one, the new soft. I feel like I'm going to faint. Fourth fit photo. I also in from have the right. that that ribbed one. Wait, which? You have a ribbed one. Fourth photo in from the right, Marty. Yeah, the, the girl with her head back. Wait, what? What's the case for the ribbing? So it doesn't slide <laughs> from out. From the left, sorry. it's just wider and it creates. From the left, that's what I have. I have that. What's, what? This is a butt plug. What's baby. that? That no, the water comes out of that. Oh, irrigation enema. Oh. Wow, it has a screw on it. Do you oh stick that in God. your ass and yeah, then spin whole... around till you screw it? Or no, do you screw it in? <laughs> <laughs> Marty, I'm going to send you a video that we should all watch together because I, it reminds it is of a butt plug and it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I would love to watch it. <laughs> and a pregnant pause. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandma. Honor. Let me see. Hold on. What did you roll? Mm-hmm. What's this video of? This video is of a porn. <laughs> this is actually one of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my life. You guys, I hope you're probably it's not just ten minutes the same. of just a porn. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing this funny about it. Is yeah. of a porn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marty, I sent it to you. Are you it's a woman. Wait, it's a woman with. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a woman in a beautiful home in the Hollywood Hills. Okay. okay. All right. She's on a, a lounge chair by the pool. Oh boy. There's a drone attached to the drone is a string on the other end of the Uh-oh. string. <laughs> it's in Wait, now I want to see the video. You've already very, piqued very, my interest <laughs> enough to, are you going to yeah. ruin it? No, I'm not going to ruin it. Well, it's butt plugs in it. It's very, it's something. 
this is what porn has come to nowadays. Does By the way, porn should be coming to that. Yeah. Porn is about pushing the envelope for what even makes sense, actually. What do you guys think about the new um, virtual reality um, goggles from Apple? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it. I see the segue where he's going. Yeah, Porn, yeah. No, I, I got I, it. I yeah. understand the, the, the touch point there. It's, it's not going to work. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't want to wear likes goggles. That? VR? It's embarrassing. Have you, have you ever done VR? I did. I did. I played. I played a um, little VR game in the, the gaming room over here. Right? It's like was a mechanic. I was like had to like pick things up and put them down and like. Oh, that sounds. I've fun. only done that, but I've never like done any. Um, this is this is okay. So right. we need sound. Why is it on Twitter? Uh, you need sound. Is it? Is we that allowed sound, to be really? on Twitter? Yes. Because yeah, the Twitter. guy goes. The guy goes. It's Max Power, and she starts screaming. <laughs> Oh, we don't have. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no. All right. Should have sent. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. That is. There it goes. That oh, is. I wish there was sound. The sound something. makes it. So it's cut. So the drone is. Did pulling. something bad happen? Oh, no. Wait. I'm gonna take the drone. Oh, Listen. Oh no. It's oh, oh, no. This is like a really good fishing show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there she goes. Oh there. <laughs> The oh sound is really working. Wow. So the, so the drone pulls out the ribbed butt plug. Correct. Joey, have you thought about doing that for an enema? The drone? Yeah, a drone, a drone no, holding I live tension. No, I live in a tiny apartment. I have nowhere to, to get a drone. <laughs> but, um, no, the, then there's no water pressure. If it was hooked up to a hose, maybe. Okay. <laughs> the drone was hooked up to a hose. Uh, that was really something. I mean, and then to think about the drone flying over Hollywood with a shit covered butt plug on it. I don't know if there's poop on it. I doubt that. I bet they'd use animas. In porn? (laughs) I mean, I I haven't seen porns where they shit themselves. Actually, I did see one as a teenager. So are you guys- We all saw one. Are you guys coming to our party tonight or what? I wouldn't come. We already said, yeah. You're definitely- You don't think you wouldn't come? come? Well, then- He's having second thoughts about the whole goddamn thing. I'm not even staying past seven (laughs) (laughs) o'clock. You can show up at 4 a.m. Joey will be there. (laughs) (laughs) What's what's the vibe? What what is the if you're put yourself in straight shoes? The vibe is going it's going to be we have the no there's going to be fake music on a lull for the first hour for filming. Really sell it, Joe. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's like a content party. Yeah. No, it's we're filming an episode. The first two hours. The first two hours, which you don't even be there. We're filming our reality show, and then the party starts. We have a drag performer coming in, Charlene Incarnate, uh, one of the best Brooklyn drag queens. Not this campy, you know, VH1 drag queen. She's the real deal. She's gonna be there. We're gonna have music. We're gonna have drinks. What's the real deal to you versus the VH1 drag queen? No, VH1 drag queens are great. We love them, but this is a this is a lady who marches to the beat of her own drum. I think okay. we can say that. She's artistic. She's artistic. She's okay. a blouse. Does she march to the beat of her own drone? That is a great question. Great question. So we should expect you guys there tonight at <laughs> seven. <laughs> um, tell us where you guys have shows coming up, all that. Uh, where can we find you? Just our podcast would be the Yeah, one. yeah. Can yeah. I go home now? Podcast is we a talk great a lot one about to gay stuff to. on there. Actually. And then we do have shows. We post most of our shows on our websites. Mine's lucasalnick.com as well. You have a website. That's not where you should find me. I at Jamie Wolf Comedy on Instagram. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Very good. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. Thank yeah. you for having, for having us. We, we appreciate it your up, hospitality. Take care of yourself. I'm worried about you. Okay. I <laughs> thank you. Fine. Just keep busy and you really sincerely do look worried in your eyes, and I appreciate no, I am. that. It's it's, I, it's 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 life ruining. Yeah. It's horrible. I'm sorry <laughs> you're going through that. Oh boy, life ruining. Yeah. Little Apparently resiliency so. goes along. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank we, you. Everyone. We wouldn't know how high the peaks are if we didn't know how low the valleys were. There we go, sister. Well, thank you for joining us, gentlemen. <laughs> we'll see you guys on Wednesday. <laughs>